Victoria said tennis should go. They get enough attention throughout the year, display none of the Olympic spirit, and are just plain greedy bastards. Uh, David Townsend, South Australia, equestrian events, because the horses seem to be more intelligent than the riders. I hope you saw the early part of the show, Debbie's part, David. Uh, Colin Logan of New South Wales says the walking races should go, since none of the competitors actually walk. Um, and Bruce Schultz of South Australia thinks rhythmic gymnastics should go, seeing as they've elevated waving ribbons around and playing catch to Olympic status. Uh, others suggested sports to be dropped, synchronised swimming several hundred times. <laughs> Table tennis, archery, rifle shooting, dressage, the 50 metre swimming race for some reason. And somebody asked quite rightly, what the hell is Pelota? Well, let's find out from our panel. Let's meet them. A very special guest tonight, the, who's just come back from Barcelona, the coach of the Socceroos and the Ollie Roos, Eddie Thompson. Thank you. That is not sick. That's this, sick this, when you clap with an artificial This is a prosthetic limb which is presented. Now, if you have a problem with disabled athletes, then Rex, you'll just have to sort it out yourself. Of course, Rex Mossop, and in between Rex and Eddie, Louise Bonham, and to my left, the usual people that we see every week on the show. Now, it is good to Debbie Spillane, Crackers Keenan, and Lex the Swine Marinos. Now, guys, what sport should be dropped? What sport should be dropped for the Olympics? Eddie is as our honoured uh, guest. Yeah, well, I'm not really too sure, but I think equestrian, probably the horses. I'm not too keen on the horse riding. Really? Why is that? Oh, I think they it's smell. the person with the best horse can win. Yeah. The person with the most money can win as well. Well, and like, it's that not, could be basketball. It's not well, a good spectator sport either. Matthew Ryan wasn't, doesn't come from a wealthy background, and he won gold medals for Australia. <laughs> 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 Besides, you didn't hear Lucinda Green's commentary, so you mm. shouldn't ask for it to be dropped. Mm, the lady Lovely. that did oh, the question. Actually, was there any word on the street while you were there? Was there any people mumbling about one sport or another that it was a waste no, of time? No, everybody. I mean, I think the synchronised swimming takes a real bashing, but uh, I never really watch it, so I wouldn't know. Oh, it's good for life, you should. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah Louise. I'll try it. <laughs> I think that sports that require judges, you know, judging when it comes down things like boxing, perhaps, um, and some of the gymnastics. You know, when it comes down to uh, a judge making a decision, then I think that um, it's really not in the Olympic spirit. Oh, that's a very, very well thought through point of view. Very deep. I won't get far on this panel, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> you won't either. Uh, obviously, there are 25 sports in the Olympic Games, 254 different events. Ooh. And of those, uh, Mossop's law is that the synchronised swimming has to go. It's a disgrace. It's ridiculous. The women make themselves look ridiculous. <laughs> Greco-Roman wrestling as opposed to the uh, the other type of wrestling that they do. This is an awful uh, an awful situation. I mean, it's like watching grass grow. Badminton should go. Badminton's a disaster. It should go. It doesn't cater to any numbers. Handball should go. You didn't even see these in the sports, but believe me, they are in the Olympic Games. Tennis, who wants to see millionaires condescending to play for their, for their country? Amateur boxing is a disgrace and a disaster because the judges and the, the referees invariably are crook ass Fennec. Hang he knows second, all about hang it. On, hang on, hang on. No, hang on one second. I'm sorry. Who gonna... ever goes down a river in and out poles? Now, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the last sport that should be involved... Can I suggest that... No, you do. cannot. Polish the sport that do. should be included is rugby union. Rugby oh. union. Oh. Last played, last played, last played in the 20s. And, Rex, you know, Rex, contest, and won by the Americans. Rex, they won the gold medal. Rex, if, Bring you, back rugby, if you're going to cite chapter and verse, I think you should know that for a sport to be in the Olympic Games currently, for a men's sport, it has to be played in at least 50 countries and three continents. The rugby, so rugby is the rugby would Debbie, do that. Debbie, what are your feelings? Over 50 well, for a countries? start, I think Rex is way out of line with badminton. I mean, the numbers yeah. that play badminton oh, in Asia, crap. just because we don't play handball, just because we don't play handball and badminton in Australia oh. doesn't mean they don't play them in just the rest the of the world. Just the sound of your voice at Debbie. times irritates <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the she's sound so of, bloody boring. It's I the sound of my voice irritating that I could just talk all night. Now, everybody, really. come on. Sometimes I think Look, all I've people don't understand what I do. I've put my head on a lot of but I've never taken an ear bashing like from this one. This is appalling. Well, I, I agree with that. I think uh, rhythmic gymnastics, synchronised swimming, boxing, uh, walking, definitely because uh, no one actually seems to be able to stick to the rules. And I, I actually have a suggestion for... What you could do is, you know, boxing, not only do they cheat, but, but it's violent. I think we could... Uh -oh. Nobody's combine... worried about the violence. It's only the cheating. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're not ever worried about violence because you lap it up, but well, not so the rest what? of the world isn't like that. Yes, what I actually thought would be a good idea... Who likes I vote Rex, please. <laughs> <laughs> they are my audience. Yeah, they are your audience. The same 
people who'd run a mile from a fight. Yes, yeah. maybe. I just wanted to suggest that maybe the, the way to go is to combine boxing and synchronised swimming. You could have synchronised boxing, no one would ever get hurt, and you'd still have to be as quick because you'd have to match the other guy's moves, yeah, you know? That's, that's just standing right. next to each other. Or you could have uh, weightlifting and boxing as the big guy lifts the weight, someone comes up and punches him in the face. <laughs> oh, get on with the other two. Yes. Well, this is a different subject and yes. one very dear to my heart. <laughs> He's combining sports because yes. you'd have the marathon and the archery at the same time. Oh. Oh. Now you'd have the gymnast yes. and the basketballers on the one court. And you'd have those cute little gymnasts and those big, big black men and they'd run down and they'd pick uh, up whoa, a gymnast whoa, whoa, whoa. and they'd slam dunk a gymnast. That'd be fantastic. Well, that's not a, we, we could combine soccer and volleyball. Yes, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, no. You'd have the, the uh, archery with the hundred yards so the slow ones get yep. killed. <laughs> The handball should go because we don't understand it, and they should have all the We don't. If you don't have the rules, you don't have it. Yeah, but the Olympics aren't for Australia. Yeah, but yeah, but it's I actually had Sol, I actually got me to look at some handball. And I do bet some that was stuff very, like very invigorating for everybody. Okay, now <laughs> get Orin Siri. Get Orin Siri because the bad ones get lost and they don't come back. <laughs> You know, they just leave you That's have like to fly them What are you talking out? about? Boomerang first? No, orienteering. Have you heard of that? Yes, they I go have. out into the bush and they do come I? back. What do they do? We've it's got them at the nude beach that go out in the bush oh, too. Oh, you've been now, out to Brooklyn. Tyler, Tyler, Lex, this Lex. This is just a trendy French-Canadian idea you've picked up about dropping sport. <laughs> we need more sports in the Olympics. We need sports, sports like that we can win medals. Rugby league, Aussie rules. Yes. Darts, coits. Coits is 10 pin bowling. And because they have so many different layers in each sport, see in golf you could have you could have one tournament for like blonde Queenslanders who don't have to putt. <laughs> something before I die. Well, you're not going to, let me tell you. Any, has any sense been spoken here? I mean, because it is an Olympic tradition to get rid of sports. In 1900, pigeon shooting was actually a sport. Uh, I don't agree with that. Pigeon shooting or things like that. I mean, I, I like the boxing, I must be honest. Yeah. But I, I agree with Rex. I think the refereeing and the thing's terrible there. No, if you're going to come in here and agree with Rex, you, you just wasted <laughs> your time. Okay, I disagree with Rex. <laughs> There is some question about soccer at the moment because they're not actually sending their best players anymore. It's under 23s and the Olympics aren't yeah, right. too uh, impressed with that. I mean, if a sport isn't prepared to give its best athletes to the Olympics, then there's an argument that it shouldn't be there. Yeah, but I mean, soccer's the second biggest money, like, money earner in the Olympic Games. Not only that... Yeah. The, well, that'll count then. Okay, the, no, hang FIFA, on. The, the, World, the World Cup is every four years and FIFA make 100 million. The last thing they're going to do is give 100 million to the Olympic Federation. Why don't you put a bit of misery into the sport, uh, Olympic Games and make everybody a synchronised swimmer before he goes or she goes? <laughs> now, look, I have to say, through hell. I have to say. They do that in the village, but they're not in the pool at the time. Triathlon. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be in the summer. I don't think we should have rugby union or league, but no. I think we definitely should have triathlon. Well, I think this is just self interest. I mean, I think we have to come to a conclusion here because I'd like this show to put a recommendation to the IOC. There is one we should drop. What? We should drop the... the 100 think, metres hurdle no, for women. No, I think the women's kayak. The one, that, no, you? the women's kayak, because I think a New Zealander won that one. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we're getting too xenophobic here. I think I would like to put it to the panel that the sport we drop is synchronised swimming, because if we want to see people drown artistically, we can just hire the video of the Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favour of dropping synchronised swimming, yeah. say aye. Yeah. Yeah. All those against, I think the ayes have it. Well, there we go. We've settled something for once. Thank you very much, particularly to Eddie Thompson and Louise Bonham. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's been terrible for two weeks. Oh, dear. Dear me. The new Australian flag. Now, next week, uh, subject is... This is going to get people really going, I have a feeling, particularly on this panel. The subject is, do Australian men prefer sport to women? <laughs> Both? Now, first of all, you've got to get a, your head around the concept of Australian men, no, and, and that's going to be tough. Do Australian men? Oh, no, it wouldn't. Do, do Australian men prefer sport to women? Our fax number nine five zero three four double six zero two nine five zero three four double six or GPO Box triple nine four in a capital city near you. Next week's show, we're going to be in Melbourne. We're getting back there finally after all this time, and we've got a really good lineup of guests. We've got uh, retired football legend Tim Watson and retired marathon legend Steve Monaghetti, his first interview upon returning to Australia after coming in the top 40 or so in the marathon. Um, 